Hey there guys, and welcome back to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. In the last part, Nate got the dagger back from Chloe, and he found the secret entrance to Shambhala, which we're standing on right now. Ah oh, man, manual labor. If there's one thing I hate, it's manual labor. I mean, seriously, I hate doing tasks that they don't yet have a machine for. I mean, come on. In the future, mankind isn't gonna be doing anything for itself. It's gonna be like Wally. Anyone ever seen Wally? Everyone just like floating around in floating chairs, and people all got fat and stuff because they all had robots to do everything for them. I totally see that being our future. Name? Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> Hidden right in plain sight. Come on. This way. I think there might be a quick way down over here. At least it's keeping me busy. You see that? Stay back. Well, as long as the creatures and the soldiers are killing each other, I'm fine with it. Just don't get me involved in it. But I do think that we need to go down there. Oh, made it. How can he grab onto a snow-covered ledge like that? Is it That should be slippery as all hell, because it's covered in snow. And snow really does not... Oh. I guess I should have used the ladder. Get down. Oh well, they respawned me down here anyway, so what's the point? Alright, right shield guy. Here, have a grenade. It's on me. Because it's almost Christmas and I'm feeling generous. Have some of this. Cause I'm the general should be generous. Okay, that's a lame thing. I didn't really think that one through, but whatever. Get a move on, Nate. We got a secret entrance to get to. Bam, 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 bam. Die. All right, you there. Fist fights. Yes, and sure you can. I own that guy. Especially, Nate can kill anything in three punches. He's like one third the man that Captain Falcon is, because Captain Falcon kills everything in a single punch. Because he's freaking Captain Falcon. Oh, that's Elaine. I thought there was some soldier guy. Might have been a really skinny soldier guy then. So, yeah, lots of weapons. Don't really want any of them. They don't have the kind of ammo I want. And they just so happen to leave a rope here for me that I can use to get up. Nope, nothing scary in sight. All right, it's all clear. Come on. All right, the entrance is over there. No creatures or anything. I'm gonna make it freaking home free. And even if there are creatures here, I'm just gonna make a freaking run for it. I'm not gonna stand here and fight with the entrance just right behind me. Oh crap, it's dark down here. And a dead end. Oh no, we go this way. All right, clever design. We're getting close, I know it. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's nothing. Just scenery. And more. What are they, like snowballs or something? Why would there be snowballs down here? Anyway, help me get this door open, Elena. Oh, is that the Chintamani stone? Here it is, Elena. The secret entrance to Shambhala. Nate? Yeah. Don't see it. Neither do I. If I have to climb another wall. Keep looking around. There has to be a clue somewhere. Are you sure this is it? It has to be. We're missing something. Well, there's multiple really large replicas of the Ferba dagger mounted on the wall. Maybe those have something to do with it. Uh, there's another one. So, what? We need to point them up, maybe? We can only point them up or down, so I guess we'll figure it out soon enough. That one's already pointed up. Or does this one go down? Well, let's try all down first. I think that saves me from walking way over... No, well, they were all up. And that did nothing. So I guess they must be all pointing down. That makes sense, don't it? When you rule out the impossible, whatever... Remains must be the truth. I think that was Sherlock Holmes who said that. 
pretty sure of it. Son of a bitch. Now what do you do? Just stay behind me. Drop the gun. Do it! Stay back! Shit. I should have killed you myself when I had the chance. Not a mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, pull the trigger, little one. See how long you live. Now, you will open the passage to Shambhala. Go to hell. <laughs> Are you a student of history, Mr. Drake? I've read a book or two. Mm. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, they were all great men. But do you know why they prevailed? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> Compassion is the enemy. Mercy defeats us. Now, unless you wish to test me still further, you will drop your weapons! Do it. Kick them away. So, you have tested my will. Now it is my turn to test yours. Killing us won't get you anywhere. Well, killing him, yes. But you? You hurt her. You get nothing from me. Well, then it appears we are at a stalemate. Unless... I add another pawn to the board. Bring her in! Shit. Ah. Get your hands off me! <laughs> Now, one we will use as a lesson, and the other we will use as incentive to cooperate. You choose. This is bullshit, Nate. Yeah, don't play into his game. You want my help, you let them go. This is not a negotiation! Who would you sacrifice, and who would you save? Or this one? You want to save this one? Or maybe this one? Hmm? You know what? Enough of this shit. All right, quit the theatrics. I'll do what you want. down. You, asswipe. Give me your lighter. Should I know? Find a way across. And fix it! And take him with you. Maybe this time it will get done right. Oh, and Mr. Drake. Don't try anything clever. After you. Stabbing son of a bitch. Yeah, well, I learned from the best, didn't I? Get a move on. First, darling. Yeah, big man with that gun, aren't you? Don't go far. Try to keep up. 
I'm keeping up. I'm letting you go first. Well, that whole scenario could have gone a lot better. But, hey, at least we're working with our funny friend Harry again. That's been quite a while. Hold on. Wait for me. Daddy's got a gun. I can't <laughs> believe Lazarvich hasn't <sighs> killed you yet. <sighs> Give me a boost, buddy. <clears throat> there we go. <sighs> oh, look out. It's a stone's throw. <clears throat> hey! Sorry. Is that blocking your path? Glad you find this so funny. Yeah. Yo, wait for me! <sighs> Sorry about that. Great. The oh! See? You should have more faith in me, chump. There you go, sweetheart. Get ahead of me. Really taking your chances there, Harry. What if that stone you dropped down accidentally crushed Nate and killed him? You better not be leading me into a dead end. Through here. I don't think you're gonna get your stomach through there. Oh, come on. Nate's not fat at all. I mean, maybe it's because of the jacket. I mean, he is in frickin' Nepal. It's cold out there. Of course he's wearing a winter jacket to keep him warm. It's logic, Harry. Dumbass. No wonder Lazarvich thinks you're a dumbass. Help me move this. Aye, aye. <laughs> good teamwork! Just like the good old days, eh? What good old days? You mean back at the museum when you betrayed me and abandoned me and left me to rot in a Turkish prison for six months? Yeah, sorry I don't really feel the same way about it, Harry. It was horrible. Although Nate did learn how to use hand puppets in jail. How did they get that far? Who cares? We just have to get up high. It's like Stonehenge, isn't it? No. Help me push this. Yeah, I really fail to see any sort of resemblance with Stonehenge either, Harry. Come on, you're British. You're supposed to know what Stonehenge looks like. Come on, girly girl. There you go. Statue of your mom. Oh, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh, Nate. Even when you're being held at gunpoint, you still manage to crack out a yo mama joke. You're so awesome. Seriously, Nathan Drake is like one of the best new video game characters of this decade. Lame Harry, I already made a statue joke. Jeez, you can't do anything. Hope you can make that jump on your own. I sure as hell am not gonna help you. If you can do it, I can't. Little help, little help. Never mind, just kidding. Harry, you're a dick. Let's just get this over with. Uh, oh, something shiny. Treasure. Harry, can I go look for treasure? No complaints? Fine. Okay, what do we have? Some sort of shield. Eight emblems pendant. Okay, then. I guess we can pawn it for some money. Alright, let's open it up. As they say, behind a door is another door. Okay. So what do you have to do? What do we have to do? Just wait here. As usual, I'll take care of everything. Would you? Wait. What? Those symbols. I know those symbols. Yeah, somehow they're in our diary. I really wonder how he gets all of those things in his diary, and they just all happen to come in handy. Alright, bunch of big ugly statue heads up there, and a bunch of big, really big bells with symbols on them up here. Such a little book. Let's see, okay. Those are the symbols. And whip out the diary. And the little symbol underneath it is represented on the gates we just climbed. So I think the left one's correct. And the right one needs to be the one of the little wave over it, so that's also correct. And the middle one is one that's solid. Like, solid filled out. That one. I think. Yep, got it. Alright then. That was quite easy, you only had to change one of them. Let's hope these other ones are aligned the same way. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay, we need the one with the circle above it on the right. How does he even move all of those things by himself? I mean, that must be one hell of a mechanism if we can just 
turn it that easily. I mean, those things are huge. They must weigh tons. Then Nathan Drake just moves him like he's the freaking Hulk. Oh, crap. No, that's one too far. And that had the one with the... The one that kind of looked like a tadpole with a really long tail. I think. Yes. And then we kind of need the ones with a slant edge. I think the left one's correct already. And the right one, or the middle one, is kind of the same, except it has more lines in it. So, this one. Yes, we done it. And something came out of the floor. Oh, Christ. More manual labor. At least we can force Harry to do it for us this time. Or at least help. Da, 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 da. So glad no one really has to do some stuff like that in real life anymore. Oh, water. What's gonna happen with the water? Stuff fills up. Okay, they have big propellers down here and that aligns to the bridge. How did these ancient civilizations make all of this? Oh, crap! <laughs> If only those creatures weren't here now, I'd just pop one in Harry's face and be done with it. Anyways, we will have to fight these things in the next part of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Thanks for watching, and bye bye